guys welcome back to my channel my name is jasmine and this is pieces of jt today's video is also in collaboration with momtober if you haven't heard of it yet it's basically a month worth of mom content videos i'll leave the playlist down in my description box for you guys to check out the videos some moms are doing daily vlogs, kind of like um, Vlogmas, but for October. And some moms are just posting content with regards to their kids or themselves as moms. So it's definitely something fun if you're a mom for you to check out. Today's video is an update on baby Brett. He is 11 months old, you guys. I honestly can't even believe it. I haven't done an update since his nine months, so quite a bit has changed from then. So I'll go ahead and fill you in. As far as how big he is, He's big. <laughs> so we haven't actually measured him um, since the last appointment at nine months. I don't know how tall he is. However, he is still hanging in at that like 21.5 pound weight. So he fluctuates between 21.5 and then just under um, 22 pounds. So he's still in that 21 pound you know range which is so surprising to me guys because if you've been following along he's been so big all along and always growing and he kind of just like stopped and plateaued once he got really um active so he's still you know in that 21 pound um weight um so aside from that he's still wearing size 12 month clothing and pajamas as well we're getting pretty pretty close to making that switch like on the one piece body suits um 12 months is starting to fit a little snug so i want to go ahead and jump into eating he is still um nursing regularly it's every couple hours throughout the day um and sometimes at night <laughs> but he's still nursing that's going well thankfully um and then he is eating tons and tons of food he really decided that he doesn't love parade food and would rather um actual food so that's what we do a lot of times i'll sneak in a pouch with one of the meals just because they pack so much more nutrients into those um and so much more variety that i really really enjoy throwing one in there but otherwise he really just eats what we eat so for breakfast um oftentimes i'll make scrambled eggs with a little bit of cheese on it and he'll have the same um he loves oatmeal with strawberries and bananas inside um whenever we have acai bowls he loves that um those are his main breakfasts really so oh yeah <laughs> so that's what he eats for breakfast as far as lunch goes it's literally whatever the kids are eating uh 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 don't touch it's literally whatever the kids are eating sorry he keeps trying to get the camera <laughs> It's literally whatever the kids are eating and that ranges significantly. So um, he'll have, you know, cheese ravioli. He'll have spaghetti and meat sauce, like whatever. Whatever they're eating, he has also. And same thing for dinner. Whatever we're having, he has, um, or at least to some capacity. So um, last night, for example, we ordered Cheesecake Factory and the kids had spaghetti and meatballs from there. And then I had like... A variety of different like appetizers oh really oh really you make that loud noise um and he just ate from the full right variety so i gave him some spaghetti i gave him some avocado from egg rolls i gave him some mac and cheese from the fried mac and cheese i gave him you know just a variety of everything and he eats really well so i'll either stick it in his mouth or um or i'll put a piece on the table but in the beginning when i was doing this i would put like a variety on the table and then he would just throw it all on the floor so now i'll give him a piece put one on the table for him and like that you know in the high chair and that way he does both i'm making sure it's getting in his mouth some of the time and i'm letting him put it in his mouth some of the time so he gets a really good variety with that um it's honestly easy because i just know that he'll eat whatever we're eating even when we have chili um even when we have tacos all of it he eats anything with us so all kinds of meat he's eating with us now so if you know i am cooking for other kids so the stuff is soft in general or small pieces you know um he's not having like a steak <laughs> but um he eats really well and that's awesome we've introduced already peanut butter and almond butter to him um our pediatrician recommended that we do so at the nine month appointment and i found at target like where the baby food is these pouches that would have um, any of the butters, like almond butter and peanut butter, the two I got, um, with banana, and that's all it is. It's like a smaller portion. portion. 
So I gave him that every day for three days in a row for breakfast um, in order to introduce him to those nut butters. As far as sleep goes, sometimes he sleeps, sometimes he doesn't. <laughs> He's been doing better lately where he'll sleep almost the whole night. Um, otherwise, oh, you're loud. Otherwise, he'll wake up once at night and, um, and I'll nurse him and he'll go back to sleep. So whether I have the energy to take him back to his room to sleep or whether he ends up sleeping the rest of the morning in my room depends on the night. So for naps, he's he's taking one nap a day right now. It kind of is just like all over the place. Honestly, he's sleeping. He's not been very structured. Um, so right now, he'll take... If he, if he takes an early morning nap, like in the morning, then he'll take an afternoon nap too. But otherwise, he'll take like a late nap and um it'll run from like one to three something like that so don't don't take nap advice or sleep advice from me right now because it has not been going well so uh he's super talkative as you guys can hear he loves making different noises he loves trying to imitate you with sounds he says mama and he says dada but those are really the only words he says he's kind of said something that sounds like no a couple of times which was kind of funny at the moment i know that we won't like it later but um super talkative always happy oh my gosh he's standing on his own <laughs> i can't believe he did that off camera um as far as standing and walking and mobility in general he crawls everywhere oh my god he crawls everywhere and anywhere all the time um he is starting to stand on his own but he doesn't like it so he'll like stand up and like on something and let go of it or on my legs and i'll move and he'll be standing and then he's like wait a minute what's going on so that just happened right now and he actually stood for a little bit there um he is not walking but he will push his way through the whole house with anything with a baby carriage with a baby push toy with anything he that he can push he gets around the whole house with dining room tables so he's really practicing and really liking it. We picked up a pair of shoes recently and um, and um, and we're trying to practice wearing those because he's not happy with them. But we're trying to practice for when we're outside because his knees get like rough from being all over the ground. Um, so I want to try to get him to like wear shoes while he's out there. Um, so as far as toys go, really his favorite things to play with right now are... Um, things he can push so like again the baby carriages for like little babies like penny and riley's babies um and he's been <laughs> playing with action figures sorry my battery died um so the baby piano he likes i think we're mostly at an age right now where his favorite toys are things he's not supposed to be playing with. so like right now he's got my hair clip <laughs> Hi. um he's got the remotes like that's what he's into right now um uh -huh. Oh yeah, he is so cute, guys. He waves hi, blows kisses. Brett, can you wave hi? Say hi. Good job. It will be Tito. Good job. So he'll blow kisses. He'll wave hi. Even if he sees you for the first time in the morning and you haven't even said anything, like let's say I get him from his crib and carry him downstairs or Steve is. He'll wave at Steve and blow him a kiss. Um, if I'll say, okay, say goodnight, he'll blow a kiss. Like, he's so cute. So he's really trying to communicate like that also, which is fun. Um, oh, yeah. Um, he has four teeth completely out. It's the top two, the bottom two, and then he has two more that are halfway out, and it's um, one top and one bottom. Um, we're in a big biting phase as well. This kid lives to bite us. I don't really know how to stop it. Um, you know, I've tried the calm telling him, hey, don't bite. And I've tried, you know, the patting him in the mouth and sternly telling him not to bite. But he'll sit there and like try to bite my shoulder while I'm carrying him. He'll try to bite my shoulder like 40 times in a minute. It's like absurd. So if you guys have any tips on how to get him to stop trying to bite me, hey, no biting. Um, let me know in the comments below, please, because it's it's becoming excessive and when he does bite you holy cazoli it's always like in the inner thigh and we scream and then everyone freaks out and then i'm like oh my god he bit me he's done it to me he's done it to steve he's always trying to bite the nanny's shoulder oh it's so frustrating um oh my gosh hey what are you doing okay he's trying to climb what are you doing 
<laughs> Are you supposed to be climbing that? No. No. Thank you. So he's just like a little, he's just like a little tornado all over the place. And we're all just trying to keep up. Um, he's doing really well climbing up the stairs. We've been practicing climbing down the stairs now. And he does pretty good, but, um, but not good enough at all to trust him. Um, he's just pretty good. We're practicing that. We're practicing. He knows how to get on my bed. We're practicing getting off it. He's pretty, like, he's almost mastered that. Um, we're practicing, like, pool danger. Um, he'll crawl up to the pool and he'll turn around and scoop and, like, stick his toe in and try to, like, measure if he can set his foot somewhere before climbing in. And we try to explain you can't do that, you know. But, um, he's just fearless. Um, <laughs> and everywhere so we're trying to teach him you know how to climb down the couch properly how to climb off the bed properly how to climb down the stairs properly and um not to get in the pool without me so um it's been tricky but um it's been so much fun you guys i don't know if it's because he's our last baby that we're like soaking it in more or something but it, he's been so much fun and he's just so darn cute everything he does is so cute that's our update on brett he is doing awesome um he's absolutely like such a happy baby and we are enjoying every second of him um i think that's something that comes with having four kids is less of the worry some stress that you get like as like first time and second time moms so we're just enjoying him a lot more um because we're, there's we're just not stressed about certain things i don't know i don't know how to explain that but um he's just ball of energy and it's hard it's hard to keep up with him um but he's a lot of fun hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe also don't forget about mom tober the playlist oh the playlist will be in the description down below thanks for watching